Hello folks, I would like to welcome you to the Blue Yacht Project. The Blue Yacht Project is going to entail the fitting of a rear motor generator unit from a Lexus RX 400H hybrid, also known as an MGR, to a, I think it's a 2002? BMW E39 Saloon, known as the Blue Yacht. Um, hence why I'm looking up some Powerflex E39 subframe bushes. The good news for you guys is that my crappy phone, oh folks, my crappy phone decided to bin about half the footage that I have shot for this first episode. So the good news is it'll be shorter and you won't have to see all of the butchery that I have committed upon this poor vehicle. Probably a good thing to, as I'm feeling significantly flambe after the Speed Hunters um, article. So that's it. Let's get to it and uh, see what we've got for you. So, as you folks probably could see there when I was struggling to get this uh, into the subframe, the problem really was down to this transmission jack just being completely crap. So, I fabricated a mount out of some scrap steel here that lets our drive unit pivot like this while also keeping it from falling um, over on me. 
So let's go ahead now and see how that looks when we offer it up to our transaxle. Or, uh, subframe. bad for a cheap plasma cutter. So, with that little bit of incision done, we have ourselves broadly where we need to be in terms of our axle runs. callously hacked off the uh, inner CV on that drive shaft. And the reason is I need to be able to position our um, our transaxle or whatever we want to call this thing, drive unit, pretty much center down in our subframe. And having that CV in the way was going to cause us a problem for that. And secondly, I need to make sure that I measure my height from my old differential mounting to the center of my uh, flange here. Get that as close as I can to what it was on the original diff so that we have our uh, half shafts in the right uh, vertical as well as horizontal uh, position here. So. Final thing, 
because I know the internet is probably howling at the moon right now. Final thing will be replacing the strength uh, that we have removed with our cheap and nasty plasma cutter. That one's first of all. Well folks, it seems my phone decided to dump some of the footage that I had shot of some of my expert welding and plasma cutting and all that going on. So you'll just have to take my word for it that uh, I am truly expert at all of these things and cannot make any mistakes whatsoever. So. So folks, I hope you have enjoyed this one. Um, we will be back in the next episode when we are mounting the drive unit in place on our uh, subframe. Now, I understand that even before the video gets five minutes in, there's going to be all manner of comments about two particular subjects. The first one is going to go something like this. Damien, you're doing it wrong. You've removed critical strength from the subframe. Well, what do you think I'm going to do? Just leave it like that? Really? The second comment will be, Damien, you're doing it wrong. Those drive shafts will never hold. Yeah. So, I'll leave it there. Until next time, do not forget to dislike, unshare, do not subscribe to this crappy channel. Do, however, check the links in the description for interesting things like the Open Inverter Forum, GitHub, Patreon, PayPal, JLC, PCB and other usual suspects. And until then, Happy E39 subframe strengthening. <laughs>